Concrete is the most important and common building material in the world. It is used in the construction of some of the largest and most well-known structures on the planet. The main component of concrete is cement, but how is cement actually produced? Limestone, the raw material used for cement production, is extracted from either quarries or mines. It is then crushed and stored. Once it leaves the storage, the limestone is transported to a mill where it is ground into a fine powder called raw meal. In order to obtain the correct raw meal mix, small amounts of silicium, aluminium and iron are added. Heat from the kiln dries the raw meal and gas produced in the process is passed through several filters to remove the dust. The finished raw meal is then stored in large silos. Next, the raw meal is put through a burning process. The first part of this involves the raw meal being heated in a series-linked 80-meter-high cyclone tower, which acts as an efficient heat exchanger. Heating converts the calcium carbonate into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. This process is called calcination. Calcination accounts for around two-thirds of CO2 emissions from cement production. The remaining one-third of emissions comes from the fuel required to heat the cement kiln. Heidelberg Cement is actively working to reduce its CO2 emissions. One way of doing this is by using non-fossil fuels in the heat treatment. The raw meal is then heated further to a temperature of 1450 degrees Celsius in a rotary kiln. This is a 60 to 80 meter long steel pipe with a diameter of 4.5 to 5 meters that forms the heart of any cement factory. When the particles in the meal react with the additives, small pellets of clinker are formed. This process is called sintering. The clinker enters a cooler where it is cooled rapidly to approximately 100 degrees Celsius before being transported to a storage silo. In the final stage of the production process, the clinker is ground in cement mills. At this point, it is finely ground to cement and 3 to 5% gypsum is added to prevent the concrete from hardening too quickly. Thereafter, the cement is transported to storage silos before it is either packed into bags or transported by bulk road tanker or ship to one of many cement terminals or directly to the customer. The cement is then used in concrete to build new and durable structures the world over.